Hello everybody, it's Josie here. I'm gonna do a kind of a round of if you like this you might like that but with a bit of a twist. So one I'm gonna try and queer it up a little bit so mm, I'd say 90 something percent of these books and that I'm recommending since I'm recommending have queer content um, and also I'm changing it up a bit because I'm adding films because I'm enjoying films right now I think it'd be fun and something different. So also there is a theme, so you can tell I'm wearing my lovely Harley Quinn It's Good To Be Bad um, t-shirt, and Harley is one of my idols. I love Harley. Uh, but also, on that, um, all of these films feature kick-ass women. My favourite thing in the world. So, here we go. So if you're interested, here we go. So the first one I've got, I'm kind of basing it on slightly more popular books and then recommending you might like this. So, where are we going to go first? Let's go here first. So, um, if you like The Spellbook of the Lost and Found by Maura Fowley Doyle, uh, one of my absolute favourites, it's about teen witches. It's got some amazing, wonderful queerness in it. Um, then, if you like this, you may like The Craft. So, The Craft is uh, quite a... I suppose it's quite a renowned kind of classic cult favourite film about a group of teenage witches um, and how their magic can go crazy and awry and wonderful amazingness ensues. Um, they're also kind of taking back their power a little bit in different ways, each character. So I think it's, it's a lot about female empowerment um, and it's just a rollicking fun ride about teen witches. If you like this, you may also like The Furies by Katie Lowe. I love this book. Um, again, it is very much in that same vein as The Craft. Uh, these are teen witches, but they're at college and kind of has got a secret society element to it. Um, uh, there's a queer element to it and there's magic going crazy. And again, I think one of the central themes is female empowerment. And I love how that's kind of put through the lens of witchcraft um, in all three of these media. So. If you liked any of these, you might want to try out the others. So my next rec is the ever popular uh, Nevernight series. So <laughs> Nevernight is about Mia Corver, a uh, assassin. So in this first book, she kind of goes to assassin training school. She's avenging the death of her family. And throughout the three books, you see her journey. Um, Mia is uh, a bisexual character, and there is a male love interest in the first book, and there is this beautiful female-female romance um, running through the others. So a lot of wonderful queerness, a lot of bloody fighting. This has got, like, prop this is adult, right? The this has got proper, this has got sex, blood, guts, gore, but I love it. Um, one of my all-time favourite series. Uh, it is great very powerful women in this and I think if you like this you may very well like this assassination uh, I did not know what I was getting into when I uh, picked up this but I love the cover of it uh, and it is spectacular uh, I love this film so it is about essentially about a, a group of girls who are friends and then one of these girls is having an affair with a man in the neighborhood and uh, she sort of she's sending sexy pictures and things get leaked and then things about the community and about other people get leaked and it's sort of this exploration of social media and how uh, that affects you know what secrets people have online and she essentially gets blamed for it and the town turns on her and again this is gory especially at the end where you know the girls are kind of fighting for their lives and again it's that female empowerment is always blaming the women for whenever something goes wrong so whenever you have one of these like sex scandals generally it's the girls that get blamed for it um so really powerful like i said gory but if you can handle nevernight you can handle this um i love this and i think you would like it also if you like those two you may like bloody rose um by nicholas eames i'm currently reading kings of the wild which is actually the first book in the series sidebar but this one i adore this is uh, about a band of mercenaries led by the fabulous Bloody Rose, the lovely red hair there. There's some wonderful queerness in this as well. There's a beautiful bisexual, gorgeous cura. She's a sort of a witch, a bone witch. Um, and they basically go out and fight monsters and fight the big bad. But they're really strong, they're really tough. Again, there's a lot of fighting scenes, things like that in it. So I think if you like any of these, try out one of the others. The next one, 
Uh, where shall I go next? Okay, let me go here. So the next one I've got is this book over here. It's called Gloves Off by Louisa Reed. This book is a book in verse and it's about a girl who is being severely bullied um, and she takes a boxing in order to kind of empower herself and essentially fight back against the bullies. It is a beautiful book, you know, kind of coming of age, um, all of those gorgeous things. There's also female, female romance in here, so coming to terms with who you are and your sexuality. Absolutely love this and that central theme of using boxing as a way to empower yourself and empower not only your body but your spirit and your mind and really become become tough badass bitch so if you like that you might like a girl fight this film is beautiful again you've got um a girl who is dealing with some issues at home um and you know dealing with her past and dealing with who she is and her anger issues as well and kind of coming into the gym discovering boxing and discovering this community and discovering you know that she has power and who she is fabulous film if you liked any of those you might enjoy jet black and the ninja um this is about this is more of a fantasy book so this is about a girl who is told by her mother she has this power and they've got this ancient family secret and she travels um this is a cross country so you start off in the states it goes to japan comes back to the states really great lots of great cultural references in here translated book um own voices but uh she, yeah she discovers they've got this family secret and that she is secretly a ninja and just wonderful again the power is in the women in this line of, of family line and i love it so if you like any of these you might like one of the others right where shall we go to next okay let's go here so um no wait we'll do that one last because you know then we'll go here next so if you liked dread nation or the deathless divide which is the second book by justina ireland um these books are about um first of all poc so women of color um and they are trained so it's kind of around the confederate war with a twist um the american confederate war with a twist uh in other words the dead come back as zombies and you have these girls um, who are sent to these uh, fight schools, essentially, to learn to fight zombies, kill them, and protect their wealthy white mistresses. Um, there's also uh, ace representation. There's female-female romance in the second book. I love this series. It's so good. Um, but a great time reading it. Really interesting. Love the zombies. Um, yeah, this is fantastic. If you like Dread Nation, highly recommend Winona Earp. Sorry, that is really reflecting. So Winona Earp, I think it's three or they're on their fourth series now. This is season one. So you've got Winona, who is descended from Wyatt Earp. And uh, he was like a famous gunslinger uh, in the American West. And there's a family curse. So when the heir turns 27, uh, the revenants rise. Now, revenants are just kind of another term for zombies in this. So anyone that Wyatt Earp killed back in the day rises up and basically tries to kill the heir, which is Winona. And she's got to kind of band together with her fabulous sister, who I love, and FYI, great female, female romance brewing, um, and kind of, and some other people, and fight off these revenants and try to break this curse and you know, kill the zombies and keep everybody safe while she's at it fabulous series love her love Winona Earp as a character and it's this great kind of mishmash of quite modern quite like sort of back gunslinger kind of it's just so cool and Winona Earp on a motorbike just my heart oh, but fabulous love it and then actually if you like those two you might like this no zombies involved but it's two women that are on a kind of a quest from these different parts of the world. So you've got one part that's kind of dark and one part that's light. And they have to kind of go on a quest to find out what's going on, to maybe unite the kingdoms, to both get to this place um, at the same time. There's some funniness in it, which I like. There's some humor. There's some humor in Winona Earp as well. Um, and also in, in uh, Justina Ireland's books, there's kind of a demon, a demon queen, um, I like it, female, female romance. Um, so I think kind of if you like those two, you might like this as well, right? So yeah, if you liked any of those, check out one of the others. Then the second last one I've got is this pairing over here. So if you liked Saw Kill Girls by Kayla Grand, one of my favorite, favorite, favorites. Um, this is about a uh, 
uh, girl who moves with her mother and her sister to Sawkill Island and what she realizes is that there's something weird about the island. Girls have been go going missing over the years and nobody seems to be doing anything about it and she starts to do something about it and again very much focused on female empowerment so this could actually go under the the one that I was talking about with the craft as well um kind of putting a voice um to these girls and really fighting back and this again ace representation female female romance bisexual queer I mean you can see how tabbed up I love this book fabulous book highly recommend this but if you like this you might enjoy female fight club um a female fight club is about uh, two sisters one who's kind of living her life and then her sister comes back and she says you've got to help me and you realize that the one that's sort of living her life um, by herself uh, something happened in her past something happened with their father um, and her sister's basically saying you've got to come back and help me I've got this debt that I owe this person I've got to take part in sort of underground so it's like fight club but for women so underground fight club and I'm trying to earn this money back and but you're really good at fighting you need to help me and so it's a story about family, it's about, again, female empowerment, these girls fighting back against what happened to them. Um, lots of kick-ass scenes. Amy Johnson's incredible, the lead actress. She's in Lady Blood Fight as well, which I adore. Again, if you like Jet Black and the Ninja, Lady Blood Fight with Amy Johnson, really good as well. But back to this one. So Female Fight Club, I think you would really enjoy this if you enjoyed Saw Kill Girls. What you might also really enjoy is Diet Land by Soraya Walker. And this is more to do with how we view our bodies and fat phobia and trying to fit in. And this woman goes on this extraordinary journey, meets these people, meets this group of women who are essentially these amazing feminists. And they're kind of fighting back against society as well and what society wants you to be and, and, and who you think you should be. And um, yeah, it's, it says at the back, it's Fight Club meets Margaret Atwood. So if you enjoyed any of these, check out one of the others. And then the last set of recommendations I have is because I'm wearing Harley Quinn. So if you enjoyed Gideon the Ninth, which I loved, um, which is kind of fighting necromancers in space, fighting lesbian necromancers in space, you've got kind of a space element, you've got a fantasy element, you've got a, a tournament element, you've got people fighting for their lives, you've got some queerness, um, kind of necromancy magic, all sorts of wonderful, fun, and gorgeous book. You might enjoy Suicide Squad. Um, I love Suicide Squad. I love Harley Quinn. Also, you might enjoy Birds of Prey, but I've done a whole video on Birds of Prey. But anyway, this is Suicide Squad. This has got Harley Quinn and as one of the characters. And basically, the world's gone to hell. Um, and you've got all these superheroes, but they're not, no, they, <laughs> I'm like, they're the bad guys. So they're not the superheroes. They're the bad guys. And they're in Arkham Prison. Now, if you know anything about the DC world, they're basically in prison. And what they decide is they're going to put this suicide squad together, this, this band of outlaws, and they're going to help save the world, basically. And Harley Quinn is one of them. It's hilariously funny and just rollicking and fun and badass. And Harley is amazing. Um, and I absolutely love this. So I think you might like that. If you like this, you might also like Wonder Woman, Warbringer. So Wonder Woman, Warbringer is the Lee Bardugo um, no novel kind of based on the Wonder Woman universe. Fantastic. Loved it. I mean, Wonder Woman, what more can you say? Wonder Woman is amazing. But there's also some queer rep in here. Um, just, just the most adorable female queer character. And she's hysterical every time she looks at Wonder Woman. I think she falls in love. And it's it's just really, really fun. Again, you might also like the Wonder Woman film. Um, but then if you like those, I'm just going to leave you on this last note of Once in Future by Amy Rose Capetta. So if you liked any of those, you might enjoy this. This again is set in space. So probably more if you like the space element of um, Gideon the Ninth. But you've got this uh, retelling of the King Arthur myth. Um, the King Arthur's a girl, a queer girl. Uh, Merlin's a wizard, a queer wizard. There's so much queer representation in this, but it's also a rollicking fun ride. Um, you know, t fantasy, uh, saving a kingdom, fighting, but also with, with a heart to it. Um, and just strong female characters, as with all of these things. And I absolutely loved it. So that's it. Let me know if you've watched, read any of these, if you have any recommendations based on those. And if you enjoyed it, um, I'm probably going to do another one. I kind of like this, this, this type of thing. And um, stay safe. Stay home. <laughs> um, I will speak to you all again very soon. Bye-bye.